Cooperation and trust can only be achieved once we have a communal agreement on something. The reason why public riot against the omnibus law in Indonesia is because they are not satisfied with the decision that the leaders made, whom they do not pick by themselves. Very proud to propose. Two things that we need to defend. First, why it should have been democratically chosen. Secondly, why the current system is bad. There will be several prongs of mechanism that I'm going to set to make the debate clearer under Gov. A. Under our side, we believe that the ministers in Indonesia in every subject should have been chosen via an election voting done by the citizens themselves, like the usual Pamela or Pilkada, in which use the democratic way, right? As opposed to what status quo right now is doing towards the ministers, which is the president choosing it by himself. How then does the election will look like, right? There will be different types of voting for every minister, like the health ministers are going to have a separate one with the human rights ministers. Secondly, all of the candidates for the ministers will be supported by the party coalition, just like president. There will be minimum representation from each coalition. Thirdly, if there's ever any circumstances that we need to fire the um, ministers, MPR will be the one that do the job as opposed to president. The lastly, right? I'm going to preempt the probability logic that OP might bring, which consists of maybe, oh, the, pre the process is not going to be as democratic as it is because citizens have limited knowledge for a subject. I have two responses beforehand. Number one, society have the interest and capacity to learn because the information will be accessible throughout socialization and campaigns, right? Their incentive exists because they realize how their life relies on their choices and how crucial the impact is on them, right? Because ministers are the one who majorly contributes in policies making regarding sectors that will affect the public life individually. Secondly, even if society is not incapable of choosing, all of the candidates are capable because it's already chosen by the political party in the first place. This is likely because political party wants to win the election, therefore they will be represented by the best candidate ever. This means that even in the worst case scenario, the ministers that are chosen will still be capable to handle the job. They will not be some irrational random politician with no background or credibility. Two arguments in my speech. Number one, why president is not the best actor to choose the ministers? And secondly, how can we gain trust and cooperation? The first argument, right? I have several analyses regarding this. Number one, let's characterize Indonesia, right? I think that it's a very diverse and a big country, right? Consisting of many area and every sector, including subject that are very different from each other. We're talking about how we have a lot of resources, both in, in human and natural resources. Therefore, the ministers play a vital role as it become the help and assistance for a president to handle the certain subject that he cannot handle by himself. The logic then become, even in the actual world, president need to help via choosing these ministers, right? This proves that president have limited knowledge um, and capacity to choose them wisely. Comparatively, when we are talking about the democratic election, we will have many citizens with variety of knowledges and communal agreement that is made through having an open conversation in the internet or these ministers showing their credentials so the public can assess it by themselves. But secondly, we believe that president can insert his malicious interests and justify it on the reasoning of his decision. What are the interests of, pres of president? There are two things. Number one, he want to be re-elected. Secondly, he want to gain alliances. What will happen then under side up? We think that because of the characterization of interests that we have bring, most likely what will happen under side up is how the choosing of these ministers are only a form of pragmatic actions, right? It's only a, perf a, perf a performative action without necessarily considering the meritocracy behind it. This looks like how during the campaign and, um, and the period of it, they promised several chairs for a coalition who want to help them during the campaigns and election which is harmful because then the choosing will not be based on quality anymore but based on favoritism and favorableness. Comparatively, why if society chooses it, it will be based on meritocracy? Because discussion exists under our side, right? Inside the society. This is likely because society exists in a large spectrum and a big binary. Different and oppositional views exist. Therefore, discourses is likely to happen. It looks like people talking about the good side and the bad side of a particular candidate, right? And the reason why discussion is very important is because the bills or policies that are going to be made in the future by these ministers are going to be filled directly by the people. The effect is on them, therefore they deserve, have to, they deserve to have a say on the leaders that are going to um, choose it. 
But lastly, why, even if president have been given the sovereignty of policy making towards the ministers, it's still not going to be a bad thing, and it's still not going to be a good thing, right? Number one, because most of the time it aligns with the interest from people to a president, we admit. But in special occasion, it is not aligned, which is problematic because ministers are one of the variables in every policy that is made in the government. The fact that sometimes it is not aligned because the bills or policies that are going to be passed have big potential that it will affect society. Secondly, in some cases, then, the minister's decisions are being controlled by the president. Therefore, at the end of the day, the minister doesn't really have to say because under the president's cabinet, the president are the one that controls it based on what he wants, right? But then, what are the changes, right? How can we magnify our benefit? Two things. Number one, under our side, people or like citizens generally will be careful, right? They are not going to pick leaders anymore based on persona or based on looks because they know how crucial it is then the impact if they ever do some irrational votings and decisions that are not like cohesively made. Secondly, there will be more healthy discoursers and smart ones that are going to pop up, right? Why? Because public will listen to those who understand it and or accounts on social media that can give legitimate knowledge or explanation um, or um, like news media that sh will show the credentials of this candidate, right? Therefore, there are going to be some kind of like assessment that are going to be done by the public towards all this information that they are going to be given. Second argument, how can we reach trust and cooperation? Um, firstly, I think that the biggest problem that exists in our in our world is that the fact that under side of society has no agency in choosing. This leads to at times where the ministers are failing or have a certain bad quality that does not align with society, this leads to a huge backlash to the president, right? There to be lack of cooperation with society that leads to riot or demonstration because they feel dissatisfied or they feel like they are not being heard, right? Why backlash could happen? We think that they can happen when people think that the bill or policy that are passed are bad, right? We're talking about omnibus law that is made by Kemenaka and Kemenkeu that got huge amount of critics. The humbling becomes, we do not because the pressure of the backlash hampers the work of president because of how he is obliged to cater to all interests of society since they are mandated to do it. That is to say, the efficacy and the progress of president will be paused to a certain extent, right? Going to have a process of needing to see a new minister, for example. There are going to be many protests or demonstrations lack of trust and belief from the society but but why is trust why why is trust important right we think that trust is important because society can obey the policy that government made and can run it smoothly the moment that they have a sustainable cooperation and togetherness right when they believe that what they are choosing is what they want as opposed to continuous hate tension and anger when they are not satisfied with the leaders the result of a proposal is th three things. Number one, exactly panel because of how these ministers are chosen by voting, society will less likely to demand for irrational changes simply because how they choose this, minis this ministry by themselves. There is going to be sense of complicity. Secondly, more cooperation because there is this sense of security that ah, I choose this ministry by, my by myself, th therefore this is the best for my community. And lastly, government will not wash their hands when the ministers are picked because they are going to be have social contract. For all of those reasons, very proud to propose.